So I just picked up the system from my brother and he had to replace it because he had a storm and he says it zerped his uh, SATA ports back there. Uh, so the M.2 still works fine, but none of the SATA ports work. He's tried every single one. So I've torn some of it apart. I haven't done a full tear down on it, but uh, what I'm going to do is just take the whole thing apart. I'm going to pull the motherboard out. I'll probably leave the cooler on there just because I don't feel like repasting it. Um, but I just want to make sure that there's nothing like stuck behind the motherboard or something uh, causing a short that would maybe be causing the issues. But uh, this is going to become my little media center for my living room for when I want to play games and just kind of chill on the couch. So I'm going to take this and uh, take the motherboard out tear it all down, do some troubleshooting on it, and if the SATA ports really are dead, then it's no big deal. I'll throw an M.2 in it and call it a day. I don't really need storage in it anyway. What I'm going to do is just take the motherboard out, and uh, he gave me a power supply along with it. so. Just gonna place it on the desk right here where it is and do some troubleshooting. See if we can figure out what's going on with this thing and whether or not these set of ports really are dead. Thing is, I don't even really intend on using the set of ports at all. I'm I'm going to use a tiny M.2 SSD, not an NVMe SSD, just a regular old M.2 SSD that doesn't even belong in a, in a motherboard. It, uh, well, it does, but you know, motherboard for a laptop, not a desktop. I'm going to use some double sided tape to secure it in place because. Why not? This isn't like a my main gaming rig or production rig or anything like that. This is simply going to be a media box for the living room. Do a quick inspection here. I don't see anything concerning. So, um, I'm gonna grab a power supply and get, uh, get at least the main power connected and get the, get a drive connected here. And uh, I definitely don't recommend what I'm doing or what I'm about to do here. <laughs> uh, I actually did this in my last media box and this sucker held in there for a good like, two years straight and it didn't even fall out. I just, uh, I ended up sending that system off to my nephew as a little beginner system. So he uh, can get into gaming. Might do one. Before I stick it down too much, I'm gonna do one more. Ah, uh, let go of me. One more piece. There we go. Professional technician. Boop. That'll hold her. And I'm doing that because the nearest mounting point is all the way back here. So obviously it's not it's, it's not gonna reach, but also there's no heat sink for for this motherboard. Or if there is, uh, he didn't uh, give it to me with his system, but there's nothing to hold that down. So double-sided tape, baby. Let's see if we get this thing powered up. Um, 
I'm gonna be using onboard graphics. Uh, even when it is, oh my God. Anywho, if you guys like watching this sort of stuff, I got uh, a bit of a build video where I build this guy. Should go and check that out. All right, cool. Next thing is I gotta get, uh, gotta get a SATA cable and SATA data and power cable going. Plug in this drive. I think I still have Windows on here. So we should be able to at least boot into Windows. I'll plug up that drive, see if we seize it. And if we seize it, then uh, awesome. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't solve anything for me because I'm not gonna be using it, but uh, I'm just curious. And this is the person that I am. Oh God, the whole thing's moving. I've got enough cable here, but it's like still all bent up from packaging. All right, if you're happier being over here, we'll put you down here on the side table. I'll keep this guy up here. I need a workbench. I need an actual workbench. That would be nice. Cool! Oh wait, hold on. Itoi. Uh it's not posting. Um I'm getting the light here just says boot. So we'll flip this off. We'll unplug. Because if this is zapped, there is a problem with SATA, then we'll unplug it and we'll try to post again. And if it does post, well then there's our answer. I'll probably still try every port. I was just thinking, I'm using onboard video and he had a graphics card in here. So I wonder if it's a defaulting to must be defaulting to PCI. So we'll shut this down again. Clear the CMOS, which I'm sure there's a jumper on here for that. But if there isn't, I'm just gonna pull the battery, power it on for a few seconds. And yeah, we'll see if this works. Cause I need to jump power <laughs> and I need to jump the CMOS. So, Uh -huh. But it looks like it's doing something. The monitor just woke up. So that's a good sign. It's booting into Windows. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah. So this is interesting. Because I don't think it booted off of the M.2 drive. I think it booted off of that platter drive. No way. It, it works. There must have been something in the case causing a short or maybe something that he was plugged into in his house. But that is the platter drive, the two terabyte Western Digital. This is the little 120 M.2 drive that I put in. So it just booted off of this drive. So it's working. I'm gonna have to call call and let them know interesting cool well um i mean it means nothing to me but <laughs> at least it's something i can bring back to him and, and and tell him but that's that's interesting i'm gonna see if there's any data he needs recovered on this and uh, i'll get back with you guys when i'm ready to throw this all back together and and uh making my new media rig I just thought about this for a second as i was taking the fans out of the case getting ready to build this thing up is I didn't really do any troubleshooting. I pulled this out of the system 
and uh, determine that the SATA ports do work. This network card was was plugged in previously and I have a sneaky suspicion that this might be what was causing issues. Yeah, I want to see if maybe I can determine why that was happening. And that's, I believe that's where it was plugged in. Is it either plugged in here or there. I'll try both. So it is booting. Interesting. So what is it? All right, I'm just gonna power it down because I don't need this drive for anything. It's gonna get format anyways. So I'll take this out of here and we'll plug it into this one here. But as you can see, it's still, it's still booting. It's still, still booting to that drive. This was the only other variable. The reason I took this all out of the case was because I felt there might have been something up under the motherboard between the case and the motherboard that was maybe grounding out, causing a short, causing our SATA ports to not work. And since I've taken out of the case, it, it now works. I mean, it, it, it's booting into Windows. So, I don't know. It's kind of a mystery. It's just one of those weird things with technology. Um, maybe his power supply. That's the only other variable that I can think of is this power supply is a brand new power supply. And it's, it's like it's, it's booting to Windows. So I don't know. Well, we're gonna throw it all back together and uh, I'm gonna test it again, just for, just for shits and giggles and because I wanna know now. doesn't make any sense this doesn't make why this is this is a pre-built computer this is the only grommets why would they block them by the motherboard it's not gonna look pretty I'm not pulling the motherboard back out so I'm just gonna go through here this got I got plenty of slack in this cable but that's wild
Yeah, it recognizes the drive, so I don't know. It's a mystery. Uh, there's either something trapped behind the motherboard causing a short, or uh, or something that it was plugged into at his house. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Who knows, but it looks like it's ready for me to install Windows on it. I'm gonna take that drive out. We'll boot it on my itty bitty uh, M.2 drive there that's held on with double sided tape. And off to the races when we're doing some doing some gaming, baby. Mm -hmm.